How's everybody doing? This is uh, Edelbrock Live, episode five. Uh, we have Eric back again. How are you doing, Eric? Doing good. Awesome. I had a good, good vacation, so I'm, I'm rested and ready to go. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had a good time uh, last week with uh, Smitty on here. We uh, brought him in to talk about carburetors and stuff like that, and uh, today we, we're going to be talking about cylinder heads, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I watched that show last week. It was Did really you? cool. Smitty's, man. Like, <laughs> a lot of people know Smitty from trailer events, yep. you know, whether it's here in the West Coast or uh, he works a lot of events, and Smitty is there. He's the almanac, man. That oh, guy really? knows everything. I, I mean, I learned something every day, so yeah. it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. So what do we got today? So today we got a new product for us. This is an all-new cylinder head. So this is what uh, we're calling it. Actually, we're not calling it. It's our Edelbrock Performer RPM small bore cylinder head. So this is for small block Chevy, and it's a, uh, it's a head specifically built for 265, 282, 305, and 307 small block Chevy cylinder heads. So, I mean, engine, sorry. Um, we've had this, we've had our, our regular Performer RPM head, which we call like a standard bore, yep. for lots of years. And guys have used them on the smaller bores, but it really, you know, once we looked at it, it's really not the best design. I mean, this is really has better valve spacing that's ideal for these smaller size bores, which really gets the most out of your engine. So that's why I think the tech guys have been getting calls for years for like, hey, you have anything for my, you know, my small bore, you know, I can use the other head, the regular, our regular RPM was designed for the 350. Yeah. So that was, you know, and it, it works, but it's still not, you know, in, in the Edelbrock world, it works, but it's still not doing the best job. Yeah. It's not maximizing the engine because it really wasn't built ideally for that application. Yep. But this was designed from scratch um, and built specifically for those applications. Um, and like all of our other RPM heads, it's ideal for 1500 to 6500 RPM. Gotcha. It's a great street head. Um, you know, it's, it's a it's a performer RPM, so there's no exhaust crossover, so it's definitely a performance. It's uh -huh. not emissions legal in the sense of for street legal, but for pre-pollution control yep. vehicles, your muscle cars, street rods, you name it, trucks, anything in that. In that it's pretty era. interesting because I, I get this question a lot on Facebook. Uh, people ask me for small board mm -hmm. stuff, and I wasn't really too familiar with it. And then I remember when I approached you yesterday about this topic, I, you know, you happened to bring this up. So, I mean, it was perfect timing. I mean, yeah. we do get that question a lot. We do. It's quite a bit. And, it's, and it really makes a difference. You know, I mean, this is, and just like every other Edelbrock cylinder head, I mean, what's great about this, it's got all those great features. It's got an extra thick deck. It's got the helio coils. It's got the threaded rocker studs. It, it goes through, it's actually, um, these, just like every other cylinder head in our line, it's designed by the guys in the room over there. It's cast 90 miles east of here yep. in uh, San Jacinto at our, our casting facility, and then it's trucked back here. And behind you guys in the camera and our production facility and back, it's machined. All the final machining assembly goes on. So really, this is, again, it's a made in USA. Yeah. And, and we can verify that. It's actually made in California. Yeah. <laughs> so it starts out as an idea here, and then it goes in all the, the way through. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's really yeah. uh, A356, A356 aluminum. Gotcha. Um, heat treated in our facility out in, uh, in Hemet. So it's, it's a high quality product. Just like all of our other heads, it has all the same great features. The only difference is, is it's got a 1.817 valve spacing ah. to be ideal for those smaller boards. Gotcha. Everything Makes else sense. is the same. It's got the same high efficient uh, combustion chambers yep. that we use on all of our cylinder heads. Um, it just, it's, it's got all those same great features. Every other head is just now made specifically for that application. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, just uh, some of the specs mm -hmm. off of this head. The chamber, you have a 60, 60 cc chamber. Uh, intake runner, you're looking at about a 170 cc exhaust, a 62 cc um, intake valve. You're looking at a 1.91 inch, and exhaust is a 1.5. So it is a little smaller than our standard, yeah. um, but it's exactly for that small bore. You know, it, I believe the small bore is from uh, what is it, 3.75 or 3.85 to up to four, yeah. four inch, some, somewhere around there. Yeah, and this head is very capable. I mean, this head will make. I mean, in this head will. Uh, Oh, it looks like I lost our image in the back there. No worries, we're still live. Um, we're having some technical difficulties today. So uh, this head is, like I said, it's in, a, in the right combination. This head will support 250 horsepower up to 425 horsepower. So again, it's it's a very capable, nice, solid little head that that will get the job done. We're having some, we're having some technical difficulties. I thought I hit it there. Mm. Yeah. Oh well. Moving on. Wow. Um, so it's a good solid little head. Uh, now we do also like our other cylinder heads. We offer it in a flat tappet version okay. and a hydraulic roller version. 
Only difference being spring rates. Gotcha. And we've done that, that's probably been about four or five years since we've rolled that out. Mm -hmm. In the past, we had just a single head, and we, and we thought it was good for both okay. applications. Okay. I was going to say, was it up to the customer to decide whether it needed a better stream rate or? You know, we started getting, honestly, it was it was an issue. We started getting complaints from oh, okay. consumers and saying, you know, we're having issues with cams, and sometimes the spring rate was ideal for a flat tappet, but not a hydraulic roller, gotcha. and vice versa. And you can add, you know, we didn't have a lot of issues, but we once only got somebody that had some, you know, flattened cam or some cam issues. So yeah. we, that's when we decided to so a lot of testing. Actually, offer the option. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And so it's yeah, a it's different good. spring in each one, and it's ideal for that that specific application, which also really is again ideal for the type of cam. You know, your yep. flat tablets are not as aggressive yeah. as your hydraulic rollers. Yep. You know, so it's really it's again it's ideal. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. I think some more are coming around, but for us. We did a ton of research, and, and it makes a difference. Yeah. You know? And also just longevity. Yep. For the, all, the, all the other components in the system, the camshaft, the valve springs, all that stuff, it just, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. It, it creates a cataloging Yeah, you know, it's, it's issue an extra part number, but, exactly. you know, it, we, it, it takes all the legwork out of, for, away from the customer, you know. That way they just buy one part number, and they're good to go. They don't have yeah. to worry about it's it. It's really ideal. So, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a great little head. Like I said, these are, you know, we... Uh, this head's only been on the market for, I want to say, two or three weeks. Yeah. We, we've been working on it probably for 18 months. I was afraid we weren't even <laughs> going to be able to get these for the show. That's I right. mean, I, they had to rush these over from our DC, but I mean, they're already in stock. They're on the shelves. Yeah. They're ready to go. If you guys have a small bore, you know, um, again, some of the sizes are 265, 282, uh, 305, and 307. If you have anything in those in that size, um, this would probably be a really good head for you. Um, uh, RPM range, again, it's from 1500 to about 6500 and horsepower ratings you're looking at between 250 to up to 425 horsepower yeah yeah that's a great little head like i mean the rpms have always we always get a lot of feedback from uh, media and people that run them and test and the rpm really is just a good solid street head you yeah. know, performers the next level down below this performers are good but they're more geared for as a stock replacement gotcha. uh you know really not too aggressive they still have the the exhaust crossover making them pretty conservative you know, cam and all that not stock and all that but yeah if yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna run something a little bit b bigger than that you know an aftermarket cam and all that stuff this is the way to go for those uh, small bore yeah. um i mean that pretty much covers all the uh, details on that i think you have so. anything else eric no, I think that's it. I mean, it's, like I said, check it out. It's on our website. Um, we've got way more detail there than we've gone into here. Um, there's even, you know, stuff that talks about, we actually have compatibility too. Like it actually uses the earlier Gen 1 valve cover okay. uh, bolt pattern. So there's kind of details on the website. So check it out. Go there and there's a lot more information on what kind of that kind of stuff. You know, hey, if I'm going to get them, can I still use my old yep. valve covers? Can I, you know, a lot of that stuff is in our typical installation notes. And we also have the matching gaskets there. Um, head bolt kits, anything you would need that would you would need if you do do a head swap. You know, mm -hmm. we've got all that stuff, and we list out on our page. So you know, that way there's no guessing. It's awesome. all there. Cool. But yeah, I think that's it. All right. If you guys have any other questions, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to our videos. Uh, leave the comments below. Um, if you have any uh, as far as any of our product line or anything like that, just go ahead and uh, send us a DM or comment, and you know, we'll try to cover every single topic you guys want to hear about. Uh, this is me and Eric uh, signing out. All right. See you later. Take it easy.